Joe Cortez, legendary referee. Man, boxing fans know you for so many fights. Um, it's good to see you still around the boxing game here for Frampton Santa Cruz weekend. But also, um, I know I heard some word you've got another fighter you're working on, another project. Um, why don't you tell me about your fighter? Well, the fighter named Yahoo uh, out of uh, Maryland. Yeah, his, uh, one of his partners, Andrew Gilliam, is, uh, used to come into my delicatessen that I used to own in York, yeah. New York back in the 90s. Okay. And they looked me up and found me through my website, favoritefirm.com. Yeah. Or JoeCortez.com. Yeah. And uh, they contacted me in reference to uh, the idea they came up with. He's coming to my deli when he was a young kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Andrew Gilliam. And that's how it all started. And we made contact and I was able to meet with them in D.C. recently. And uh, we signed a contract for a deal that we're going to be doing together, launching together the game. What do you think about him as a fighter? Why is it about him where you want to work with him? Well, I like to help him. He seems like a gentleman, really. A guy very determined, very uh, dedicated to the sport. He has a good record. So I think that uh, he has potential. I'm just, like, advising him from the outside right now. Yeah. So hopefully he can get up there and become a contender in the new future. But you've been in the ring with all these championship fights, been around the game, you've been at the highest level. What does it take to really get to that level where they're fighting in a Joe Cortez or somebody's refereeing them on well, a big stage? Well, a fighter to fight at the top level, you got a lot of good young fighters up and coming. They're, very, they're hungry. First of all, they have to be hungry. Most of these fighters that are coming up to the ring, they're hungry. They want to become world champions. They know there's an opportunity for them to, to make it into the limelight and hopefully one day become world champion and of course you know the money that comes with it is what they're looking forward to a great future are you do you still look forward to fights like this weekend frampton santa cruz what are your thoughts on that yeah, one yeah call frampton and uh levels of the crew will be a good fight here saturday night in las vegas and it's going to be a fight that the fans want to see because they were both went into the ring undefeated last year yeah. Leo santa cruz got his first defeat so now he knows what it feels like uh, losing that belt he wants to get it back again what kind of energy did you sense from him? Because he seemed like a real intense but positive guy, like a good character. Yeah, he's a, he's a gentleman that has what it takes to be a, a good fighter because he's very intense, he's very um, confident, he has a very, he's very devoted to the sport. He's always in the gym, he listens to my, uh, to my advice, he, and he's a trainer, he, he listens a lot. He's, he, he, he wants to learn and be a great fighter, which I think he has the potential to go all the way. What does it take to be great in boxing though? Well, all the qualities that I just mentioned, all the above, dedication, uh, be hungry, uh, learn all you can, and the discipline is very important, and be mentally and physically prepared for a fight, I'll make you a great fighter. And it's uh, different for you just because you're not refereeing anymore, but you are an advising, how is that different? Well, as an advisor now, and now that I'm not refereeing, I bring a lot of years of experience. I've been in boxing for 60 years of my life. Wow. So I, I have a lot of knowledge. I was a, people don't, don't know that I was a professional fighter, I had 18 and one record as a pro, and I also was a six-time Golden Glove champion. Wow. New York Eastern and Nationals. And so I, I was 43 and two as an amateur, but I, all those years, worked with the greatest fighters in the last three decades, like Mike Tyson, Julio Cesar Chavez, also De La Hoya, Lennox Lewis, Larry Holmes, uh, Roberto Duran, Benny Pazienza, you name them. There's a few of this. Yeah. Close to 200 world championship fights that I referee. So I bring a lot of knowledge and wisdom into the sport of boxing.